Well, welcome to our classic car on this collection of 80 photographs featuring classic pre-war lorries and trucks. And we begin with AKP213, which is a 1933 Bedford. And that is followed by the very first ever ERF. As it says on the side, registered to W.F. Gilbert in September of 1933. We've got BLK 540, I think. This is a pre-war Dennis lorry. Followed by a wonderful Sentinel S4. This is from 1934, this particular steam-powered lorry. to a classic lorry auction over at Donington a few years ago. We've got a Morris commercial, not a great deal known about this, other than I think it's from 1934. Side view of my old 1934 Model AA truck, long wheelbase drop side truck. Back to Donington Park quite a few years ago and the remains of another Albion. This is uh, an incomplete one from 1936. Side view of one of the period photographs that feature on the main old classic car website. This is a Thornycroft from the 1910s. Solid wheels, solid tyres even. That's followed by a Ford Model AA, which is from 1932. A Series 1 Land Rover alongside. FAS 350, that's a Diamond T, one of several American trucks to feature in this collection, a Diamond T from 1933. From Passoni of Winsford, their collection, this is a 1938 ERF. Staffordshire registration, so it's always been in the same area. And CYB 19, that's a 1937 Bedford. Great old Dennis here, VX7598. This is a Dennis truck from 1930. Next up, a Bedford. This is a Bedford WHG from 1939. And a classic American bit of iron here, 187XUF. That's an international from 1936. Very original condition truck. Note the directional indicators on top of the front wings. Next up, a comma breakdown wagon. This is from 1932. And down to the British Motor Museum at Gaydon, we've got HA2064. This is a 1924 one ton Morris lorry. Complete with two gallon petrol can. And back to America, we've got an international here of the late 1920s. Note the wooden spoke wheels. Another old Ford breakdown wagon here. Is this a Model AA or a BB? And to Gaydon, one of the classic lorry shows, we've got DMV 317, which is a 1936 Albion. Albion uh, features regularly in this particular collection of photographs. Next up, a Leyland. We've got a Leyland here of the early 1930s, flatbed. One of the older vehicles to feature in this particular collection. We've got a 1917 Sora. Proper World War One lorry. Head on view of a Leyland Bull now from 1932 in the livery of Jay Kerr and Sons of Wakefield. Another period photo, this is a late 1920s Ford Model AA, appears to be stuck in the mud somewhat, note the uh, chains on the rear tyres. Back to Gaydon, we've got AJW 460, that's a 1937 Bedford. Spot more steam power here, and a 1933 Sentinel, built in Shrewsbury. And this one registered to a company in nearby Wolverhampton. 
to America again, and a late 1930s, 1940-ish international. There's a brochure review for this range of trucks elsewhere on the channel, if you go looking for it. Next up, a Leyland Hippo. Very nice indeed. This is from 1935. Continuing with these pre-war lorries, we've got a Morris commercial here. This is from 1932. wonderful AEC Mammoth Major Mark II here. This is from 1935. One of the trickiest things with putting this collection together was how many lorries of the 40s um, look like pre-war lorries. To steam again, and we've got TJ4651, which is a 1934 Sentinel steam lorry. Fantastic. To Gaydon once again, and the London Brick Company Limited, and an AEC Mammoth Major from 1939. Fantastic old World War One, Great War Albion from 1916. War Department livery, of course. The side view of an unidentified steam lorry. If you can uh, shed light on what this particular vehicle is, please pop a note into the comments. The wonderful Foden diesel here. The Foden DG, the Chinese Six, the twin steer front end from 1938. On the road here we've got a pre-war Bedford. This is a Bedford WHG from 1932. Another old survivor, Thornycroft in this case, from 1918. And solid tyres, not much comfort for the driver there. BYB375, that's a 1936 ERF. Built in Sandbach of Cheshire. And in the foreground another 1936 ERF, with various other ERFs of varying ages alongside. This mighty machine is a 1939 Scammell, a rigid six-wheeler. Fantastic. 1939 build, just prior to World War II of course. Then we've got another Albion, the KL127 Albion from 1936. Still plenty of pre-war lorries to go, we're only halfway through. This is a Morris a dropside truck of the early 1930s down at the NEC Classic Car Show a couple of years ago. And a wonderful Morris commercial here, this is a lorry from 1925. Another one out on the road run, this Albion dates to 1936. One of my favourites, I have to say, EMB850. This is a 1938 Fordson. Absolutely stunning looking old lorry, I think. Another one of the vintage photographs here. We've got Invincible. This is a Garrett steam lorry, presumably from the 1910s. Big chain drive there. Slightly newer now, we've got a Dodge recovery truck from 1936. In the livery of Holling Drakes, the car dealership over in Stockport. Leyland and Al Albion here, the Albion's pre war. This particular one is a KL 127 from 1936. Side view down at the Goodwood Revival. Fantastic old Dennis, uh, BP livery, of course, from 1935. Another vintage photograph taken in Southport of a Sentinel steam lorry with trailer. Now a proper rarity, this is a 1918 Crossley. Crossley was based in Manchester, this one is ex-Royal Flying Corps, which later became the RAF. CYC, that's a ERF three-way tipper from 1937. Seen on a holiday earlier this year is a Pierce Arrow R7. This is from 1914, so early Great War era lorry. The Albion, this one from 1935. 
with a similar vehicle alongside. Up on the back of a trailer, we've got a pre-war Leyland Bison here. This is from 1932. Continuing with these classic pre-war lorries, we've got EXN 909 in the livery of Shellmex and BP Limited. This is an Albion KL 126 of 1938. Head-on view now of a Bedford WTL, this one from 1934, and the livery of Hall & Co Limited. Something of a restoration project here, now a circa 1938 Fordson 7V with the remains of the old AFS logo on the door. Auxiliary fire service, wartime service presumably. That's followed by a Ford Model AA of 1929. With the pre-war lorry, this is a Leyland uh, from 1935, a Leyland Beaver. There's a chap back in the pre-war years with his most commercial leader. Of the old crinkled photo, one of many photos of old lorries and cars on the main site. And that's followed by an Albion here, CBO 140, an Albion KL 127 of 1939. Another fantastic American truck here, NFF 209, that's a GMC from 1937. One of the oldest in this particular collection of photographs, an Albion GA3542, this is from 1917, so again, the Great War era. Two photos here, in the top corner we've got a Diamond T from 36, and below a 1929 Star, the Star Flyer. 019542, that's an AEC Matador of 1934. Next up, Bedford, the Bedford WHG from 1935, a drop side truck. A couple of lovely old lorries there, nearest is Leyland Cub. BWP 323, and this is a Cub from 1935. The Road Haulage Association badge on the front, that's followed by a 1930 Ford Model AA. Back down to the NEC, and we've got a fantastic Morris Commercial C11 from 1936. Another Diamond T. This one is a Diamond T from 1932. Another Americana and an International of the early 1930s. There's a fantastic old Leyland Cub. Again, the early 1930s. That was at a steam rally several years ago now. Another Bedford, BRA 896, that's a 1935 flatbed. Last of the steam lorries to appear in this particular collection, the UJ 2225, this is a 1933 Sentinel, in the livery of the Gaslight and Coke Company. With the vintage photo, this is of a circa 1930 Manchester, on the right hand side there, very rare truck now. Definitely a one-off cab. Morris Commercial here, a very nice one indeed. This is from 1934, currently on Sawn and probably hasn't been used for a few years, looking at the uh, registration record. That's followed by a bright yellow Ford Model AA of 1928. There's a very handsome Morris Commercial CS11 from 1937. And to round out this collection of pre-war lorries and memorabilia is this old headed note paper in the livery of Joseph May, Howland Street, Tottenham Court Road, London. Very smart old lorry there. And that 
ends this particular collection of photographs featuring pre-war lorries and trucks. I hope that was of interest. And there are quite a few videos about commercial vehicles on the website now and on the channel, so please check, take a look at those. More videos along very soon. Bye for now.